All right, first and foremost, we give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, and Kakodash, the bondage to the elders and apostles, a great millstone who rule well and who is worthy to be counted for the blindness. And peace and salutation to you, brothers out there pushing the truth wholeheartedly and sincerely and for love of the gospel. Uh, it's Brother Gabari from the Indiana Com Come back to you again with another sit down. And uh, basically, the name of this lesson is going to be uh, The Lord Shall Make Israel into One Nation. All right? Or it's like, you know, that wasn't the name. Um, It was. Uh, the coming together of Israel. That's what it was. The coming to the, the coming together of Israel. All right. Um, without further ado, I'm going to hop straight into it. This is Ezekiel chapter 37 and verse 22. It says, and I will make them one nation. This is the Lord speaking. He says, I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountain of Israel. And one king shall be king to them all. And that's King David. And they shall be no more two nations as far as what? North, north, northern kingdom and southern kingdom. Neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. See, so when we go into, so when the kingdom of heaven comes and the Lord comes down and redeems Israel, it's not going to be no more of a of, of a northern kingdom or a southern kingdom. All right, we're not going to be we're not going to be split no more into kingdoms. We're going to be no, we're going to be one full nation again, man. All right, we're going to be one full nation, the nation of Israel. All right, there's going to be all of the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom, man. The Lord is coming to put to to bring us back into one people. All right. In verse 23, it says, neither, neither shall they be, it says, neither shall they defile themselves anymore with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of these transgressions. But I will save them out of all the dwelling places wherein they have sinned and will cleanse them. So shall they be my people and I will be their God. And that's exactly how, um. That's exactly what the Lord is going to be doing, man. All right. And, and mainly how he's going to do that, man, is because the children that's going to be born unto the elect, they're not going to know sin, man. They're going to be born into righteous bodies. They're going to be born with the statutes, laws, and commandments written on their heart. All right. They're not going to, uh, uh, they're not going to go off no more. Okay. And our dwelling places, the places that we dwell, whether it be on this planet earth or any other, any other uh, planet, we're going to, we're going to what? Walk in the statutes, laws, and commandments 100%, man. All right. This is um this is Jeremiah chapter 30